Hello again. This is a Canon G9, PowerShot G9. Um, as you see, when I put a battery in it, which I will assure you is charged, it does nothing. Now hopefully, this is an easy fix. Well, not that easy. With this part right here, which is the power plate, or DC to DC power board, um, which contains a fuse, this little surface mount fuse, which is what is apparently blown on here. So, we are going to take this apart. I will uh, link in the description to a video on how to take it apart uh, that happens to be in Russian. So, you can watch that. All right, I have taken out two screws on this right side, one of which is in here. Um, one screw up here, two on the bottom, right there next to the um, tripod mount, and then one, two, three on that side. And it, in theory, now it will split apart. This back comes off like so. And then the front will also come off after I, probably after I take this off, this ring. Yes. So. Now we're going to take off The LCD, um, this button board here, um, and also this top to get to where I put my screwdriver. What did I do with it? Um, anyway, to get to a section right under here, which is where this, I'm sorry, right under here, which is where this uh, power plate board is going to be. On the back here, we had quite a few screws. Um, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, holding on the dioptric adjustment um, little wheel here, and then six, bottom, I believe that was it. Uh, yeah, quite a few, got to keep track of all of those. Oh, and then also when you have to take this rear bin cable out here, which is going to be done. By taking your screwdriver or pry tool, oops, all you have to do it with two hands and prying up on this black part, um, which is a little lever, a little zero, in fortune, zero insertion force lever, and then we can pull the ribbon cable out carefully. Just like that. And then we are going to lift this out of the way, and we've got, oops another ribbon cable underneath which is going into the main board um, as, and along with that we've got another screw and then we can finally take off the LCD assembly um, and chassis and all that stuff. The LCD chassis will lift out of the way and then we've got two more ribbon cables right there that we need to disconnect in order to get this part free and then put this in a very safe place so you don't scratch the inside of the LCD. <sighs> Once that's out of the way, we have this big plastic shield, um, which is just adhered on there. We can just pry that off. And then we've got these two non-ZIF sockets, which we're going to have to pry off with uh, your pry tool or screwdriver. Um, they're going to come off straight up from the board, from the main board. Um, and then we can finally take off the main board, which has the connector um, from our, uh, this thing, power plate, DC to DC board underneath. Um, so we're going to have to swing the main board out of the way, and then of course also remove this whole top assembly, um, which is actually quite easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The top is held on by this screw if you have not already taken it out. This one, um, my top's kind of popped up already, so those two holes would line up. Um, there's a front one, which would line up there, 
And then there's one more back here on the back, right in the center there. Now before you can take this top part off, we have this one tiny little cable right here. Or not, yeah, it's a cable. Um, it's just a red and black wire, and that needs to be taken out. That's the only thing keeping this on, minus the screws. And there's our board right there, the one that we want to get to. Um, and it looks as though I can just take this screw off and then take the other screw off because this is a two two PCBs um, with connected by ribbon cables. And then just unplug from the inside without taking the main board off. Unplug this, pop it off, and pop the new one back on. So this, sh this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And then, of course, once this is lifted out of the way, there's a small tab on the side uh, to allow that to happen. You can get to this plug, um, and then it should slide out. However, if we look on my board here, what is this we see? Let me zoom in. That is a screw that is wedged in between the chassis and this power board. Pretty sure I did not put that there. Um, so, I wonder where it came from. Now if you take my route, um, which is not to take the main board off and just pull this out uh, from the top, it's going to be very difficult, <laughs> as I found out. Um, you kind of have to rock it and get it to come out like this, which is difficult. You have to play with this stupid tab over here, trying to get it over that tab, and then you can kind of rotate it and pull it out. Um, you'll just have to play with it for a while. Getting your new board in should be pretty easy. I just dropped it in like that, and then like that. Um, so it should pop up. Yeah, shouldn't be that hard. And now to put everything back together. <sighs> now once your power board is in, um, there's one more thing you have to do with the old one, and that is fill this gap. Um, you're going to need to put the old battery into the new slot. It's just a little coin cell, like a mini coin cell. So just pry that sucker out and put it in there, otherwise uh, I don't know what will happen. Probably won't save your settings or something like that, you know. Still got a few screws to go, uh, just the outer casing, which is not quite put together. It's going to require some tweaking on this side, um, but since it's mostly put together, I thought I would put the battery in and see what happens. <gasps> there it is. It's back. It is back. All right, now I just put the final screws in and I'm done. And there you have it. Uh, let me shut my music off. PowerShot G9. No power, not unrepairable or too expensive to repair. Now, fully operational. Sweet camera. Sweet camera.